in this video we will discuss the problem diagonal traversal of a binary tree previously this problem has been asked in microsoft and amazon the problem says that we'll be given a binary tree and we have to print the diagonal traversal for it so we have to consider the slope as minus 1 and we can consider the sample example for this so let us say if this sample example has been given to us so in this case we can see that we are printing the diagonals of minus 1 slope so let us quickly write the test case that has been given to us so that we can understand better so what we have been given is first of all we were given 8 then 8 was having a child like 3 then we were having 10 then we had 14 as well then here we had 13 for the left child and similarly for 3 we had the left child is 1 and the right child is 6 then what we had was for 6 uh, we had like if I'll make it like this so for 3 we had this child is 1 and the right child is 6 then we had 6 had the left child uh, 4 and the right child 7 so for this case what we will observe is if we try and observe properly so first of all we will be printing this particular diagonal okay so it would be 8 10 and then 14 okay then we will print which diagonal we will print this diagonal that is 3 6 and then 7 and after that we will print which diagonal this diagonal that is 13 here we will print 13 then we will print 1 and then we will print 4 then we'll print this diagonal and this diagonal like this so if we observe like let us check if the answer is correct or not so it is like uh, 8 10 and 14 then 3 6 7 3 6 7 and then 13 1 and 4 okay so that is the answer as well so if we will try and observe so what we will be doing is we if we are at a current node so we are obviously moving to the right chain okay here for 8 then we move to 10 then we move to 14 that is fine but we also have to do check like once we end here once we reach a null here so then we are terminating and then we have to check for the next diagonal so the concern is that which diagonal will be considered so if we try and observe clearly so the diagonal that we will be considering will be uh, based on the node that i see first of all as the left child because we are including the right children as the diagonal but whichever left children i get i'll use them so i get a left child here so the first left child that i get is this so after this diagonal traversal has been done then i do the diagonal traversal of this child and while i was doing the diagonal traversal of the first diagonal this diagonal then i also got this 13 so 13 would be the first diagonal that i will consider then the then another left child was 3 then another left child was 1 then another left child was 4 so in this order you can see in the final answer 3 the diagonal with 3 then the diagonal with 13 1 and 4 so i can say that i am using what i am using the first in first out concept so for that we can implement it using the queue and like whatever left child we get we can simply insert it inside the queue and traverse its right children so let us try and uh, see what we can do uh, by using the queue so what we will be doing here is let let's suppose that we have a queue for ourselves and we'll have an answer as well so let's say we have a queue initially we will be starting from the root of the given binary tree and what we will be doing is we'll be inserting the like if the if suppose that the root is null in that case we'll simply return the empty answer otherwise what we will do is we'll try and insert the root inside the queue and first of all 8 is inserted right so 8 is inserted then what we will do is we will run until the queue is empty so after 8 has been inserted inside so what we will do is we will mark it as the current so inside my current 8 is stored so does 8 have a left child yes it does have a left child so I will pop out 8 and then I will insert 3 because the left child is present so whichever left child is uh, there for any node so I will insert it inside the queue okay that is what we will do and then I uh, will move to the right child so I'll move my current to this 10. First of all, I have printed 8. Then I print 10 as well. 10 does not have a uh, left child. So I'll try and see if there is a right child. So yes, there is a right child. So here I can see that 14 is there. So I'll print 14 as well. Now 14 has a left child. So I'll insert it inside the queue. And then what we will do is we will say that, okay, now the right child is nothing but null. Because if I move down, if I move to the right child, now my current becomes null. 
the moment my current becomes null so the current diagonal traversal has been done i can simply terminate okay and after after i have reached null so i can simply terminate so this particular di diagonal had be, has been traversed after this what we will do is after this we will simply say that we will take out again the front so now the front is containing 3 so since the front is containing 3 so i'll mark 3 as my current and then i will check if the current node has a left child if it has then i'll simply insert it inside the queue so i'll insert 1 inside the queue then what we will do is uh, we move to 6 the moment we move to 6 so current moves to 6 so 6 is having a left child so we'll insert it inside the queue and then we will simply say that does it have a right child yes so we'll move our current to 7 now 7 does not have a left child so nothing has to be inserted inside the queue does 7 have a right child no it does not have so that's uh, like 7's right child is nothing but null so my current stands at null and i'll simply terminate so this diagonal also i have traversed right so this diagonal also has been traversed then what will happen i I'll, like this 3 like 3 then i'll have 6 and then i'll have 7 so one by one i'll keep on storing inside my uh, list or a vector then after that what we would do is we would say that what is the next uh, front node so front is containing 13 so now 13 will be taken out and does 13 have a left child no so my current is here does 13 have a left child no does it have a right child uh, no so that means right is null so now my current will point to null so in that case i'll terminate so this 13 diagonal has been also traversed then we move to this one so this one we pop it out and write it here then does it have a left child no does it have a right child no so in that case my current points to null after it if i move to the right then the current points to null in that case i'll terminate so i have traversed this as well then we will take out four we'll print four and then we'll say that okay current is standing at four so that is that does it have a left child no does it have a right child no so the right is null so the current moves to null in that case we terminate so overall we can see that our answer would be what the answer is 8 10 14 then 3 6 and 7 and then 13 1 and 4 and that is what we wanted so now let us try and write the code for this so what we will be doing here is we'll simply first of all declare a answer vector which will be storing the answer so let's say what we do is we'll declare vector like int and then answer that would be storing the answer and we will say that if it happens that the root current root is null okay if the root is null if there is no node then we will simply return the empty vector otherwise what we will do is inside the queue we will declare a queue uh, which will be storing all the nodes one by one and it will be named as queue and inside this queue we will simply push the root node first of all so that we can start our traversal and then until and unless like till the time we have some nodes inside uh, the queue so while the queue dot size is greater than zero while the queue is having some uh, nodes inside it so till then we'll keep on doing the traversal and what we will do is first of all we'll take out the current node so node star current is equal to nothing but queue dot front so first of all we'll take out the front node out of the out of the queue then we'll need to pop it out right after this part is done so we'll say that until when we are going to run we will run until the current node is not equal to null and the current node will always get updated with the right child so what we will do here is we will check first of all that if the current node that i am at if its left is not equal to null so if the current uh, node's left is not equal to null so if it is having a left child so we will simply say that we need to push this left child inside our queue so we'll say that uh, queue dot push currents left so we'll simply push the left child after we have pushed the left child so what we will do is we'll simply inside our answer we'll push the we'll push back the current data we'll push back the current nodes data and after we have pushed it so what we will do is we'll move our current to the right child so current is equal to current right so even if it is null then i'll be moving because the moment my current becomes null in that case we terminate so current is equal to current right is what we will do and that is how the traversal will be done one by one until the no until the queue size is greater than zero until the queue is empty after it the answer will be stored and i can simply return the answer let us try and compile this code so it seems to work on the samples let us try and submit it as well we can observe that our solution was able to pass all the test cases that were there and now talking about the time complexity of this code so the time complexity of this code would be nothing but 
order of n because we are traversing each and every uh, node uh, of the binary tree exactly once and the space complexity would be order of n as well because we are storing it inside an answer vector and then returning it in case if you understood this explanation so make sure to comment down understood in the chat and like the video as well thank you